Welcome back, Wolfpack Brillis here, and this is how to use Corsola. Well, we had a good run that, you know, Mamoswine, Weavile, uh, Gliscor, these Pokemon are used quite a bit. And then we get some Pokemon like Corsola. These stats, there's not really much to go off of here. 55 on the hit points is going to take away a lot of your dreams of being a tank. 85 in the defenses, while good, again, those hit points, not that great. 55 attack, 60, the stats here are pretty tricky to use now now we can come up with some sets it's just not going to be as optimized as it could be on other pokemon so just keep that in mind as we go and look at the other things like it's rock water typing four times weakness to grass two times weakness to electric two times weakness ground and two times weakness to fighting water ground is such a better typing because you only have to worry about that grass weakness and then you know you're still very weak against electric and ground and fighting that's just kind of very tough with that rock water typing and then your resistances yeah, at least you have a decent amount of resistances fire poison ice flying normal it's going to be all right but those are some pretty threatening weaknesses nonetheless hopping into pokemon showdown i was thinking that the first idea for corsola is as a regenerator physical wall kind of pokemon bring it in stealth rocks if something isn't physical just just leave that if if you're getting you can like at least tank up some physical hits with this if you take too much damage you can switch out regenerator is going to activate and that is one good thing that corsola has going for it that not a lot of pokemon have regenerator and it does work with a team comp that's trying to switch out that if you set up stealth rocks and you try to just put your opponent in an uncomfortable situation they switch out you can switch in you can take damage you can switch out heal up with regenerator and something like that can work out and with corsola you just kind of go in against physical pokemon use scald go for the burn use agent power maybe you'll get a defense or offensive boost like you can get the boost from that you're going to get stab and then you can just use recover so that's kind of what i'm thinking about with this bold nature 2v2 2v2 put the other point into special attack that way you do just a little bit more damage and just hope for the best and just try to tank out your opponent as long as you don't see anything too super effective you can just kind of get that setup going as long as you have stealth rocks and regenerator you might be able to loop your opponent you might be able to just make them feel a little bit of discomfort with the course law on your team and that's the real victory right there so some other things, uh, you can just run special defense, that you go Calm Nature, and then you just max out, and then you just go for that Scald, or you don't really care too much, and now you're a special defensive regenerator Pokemon, and that's just kind of the idea I had, just to show the other side, because Corsola, since it does have, sp like, even defenses, you can go either or, and you can play around your team however you need to like that, so special defensive regenerator Pokemon, not bad at all. Also, Corsola does get access to Barrier and Amnesia. You can do it the other way around, that uh, with the defense boost by two on Barrier, put that on the special defense set. With the um, Amnesia giving you plus two special defense, put that on the physical set. Uh, you could take out something like Ancient Power and just go for that Scald. So if you see something that's a physical Pokemon, that's when you start setting up for special attackers. If they switch out because they really can't handle you too well as a physical attack, you might have doubled your special defense or even a little more by then. And then that's when you just kind of out recover them, go for that Scald Burn, try to chip in the damage. Um, maybe you could also take out Stealth Rocks if you already have a Stealth Rock Pokemon. And that's really what Corsola is going to want to do, that it can come in maybe set up maybe get tanky no promises on that but if it does you know ancient power is just going to benefit you from there scald chip damage if you get the burn that's really all you need to just kind of stall out your opponent through recovers and now you're actually doing some work with corsola you can still safely switch out to a degree if you see a grass type pokemon because regenerator is going to let that happen and then you just can get in and set up again if you really need to so supporting corsola against its weaknesses might also be a pretty decent key to success and then we just kind of have a set idea you know you can go for toxic and uh scald so you want a toxic pokemon that you can if you can't scald them so to uh, poison type pokemon steel type you want to burn them for fire type pokemon and others you just want to toxic them then you recover them through the barrier with the special defense boost and that's really what corsola is that's all that corsola is going to be able to do generic toxic style pokemon with a defensive boost or just some kind of set chip away pokemon and it does have regenerator so at least you have a pokemon that has some flexibility in battle to kind of just shift around your opponent's team and you might make it work so i hope you guys enjoyed the video it's how you use corsola and i hope you all have a nice day